essentially also what they're doing with the whole conversation about the border. You know what I mean? They're mm-hmm. saying that now Mexico is going to be taking some steps uh, to right. take a tougher position and help with the crisis of the border. But that doesn't uh, help the fact that we have th- over 300,000 people that cross the border just in the month of December. Yeah. That also doesn't, doesn't avoid the fact that we have basically almost 3 million people, you know what I mean, that cross the border just this year of 2023, you know what I mean? And so uh, since the Biden administration took office, guys, it's about 7.5 million people that have come into, the, like, I want you to think three about years. that. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, in three years. I want you to think about that number, you know what I mean? Almost 7.5 million people that came uh, through the border and now I want you to think about states, full states that don't even have 7.5 million people because the population is so low. So, so what you mean is, you know, you you have on a country that is 300 was 328 uh, million people. You add in another 7.5 to the country, and we we we're talking about the same issue. You know, what I mean, this is a this is a different type of wave of immigrant, a different type of expectation. You know, what I mean, there was a time where I will blindly, blindly fight for it because I know that experience at a personal level. You know, I will blindly argue that every single person that was coming in was coming in to work, to just to, you know, do something that that they're not looking for the dependency of anything. But in reality, the wave of people that we're getting right now is a wave of people that are actually saying, so what else do you have for me? Or what can I get for free? And so the idea that they want to say, well, well, Mexico, Mexico now is going to help us. And it's going to give us the ability to that again is trying to look for like good news where there is no good news whatsoever we have a massive crisis also going on not only with the economy not only so the amount of people right now though you know what i mean they're they are literally saying i was sold into the idea that trump was going to destroy the country and that's the reason why like the first election and the whole thing uh, you, you you have very important people saying you know there was so much negative news constantly coming out of this man that I couldn't grade his presidency better than a C uh, as, as a president. You know what I mean? Meaning th- this guy y- either barely made it or, or was a lousy president. He said, now that I look back, I'm realizing that this guy was not a bad president. This guy essentially, you know what I mean? And so now they cannot sell me, especially because now you were able to, you have three years of witnessing what the opposite does and looks like. You know what I mean? And so that is very difficult to lie to people because now, now the numbers don't lie. And so what do they got left to do when it comes to making this argument to say that he is uh, somebody who is going to become a dictator is going right. to so uh you know and, and uh somebody that has promoted insurrection you know what i mean and that it, it is good they're going to do just about everything but this thing's about the economy being number one one of the biggest concerns and then the second thing about about the border looking for good news where there is not that, that, that is essentially what we're looking at, a, a situation. Now, the average, listen, guys, there's, there's three groups of people out there right now, right? There's the person who already belongs to a political party, and there is absolutely nothing that's going to move them from that. Mm-hmm. In a tradition after a tradition, I'm that person. I don't see myself ever. Yeah, you know, there's also a, a group of people that are paid to media sources you know i mean some people that now even through social media they have been able to monetize having a conversation about and they again they're going to stick to the agenda they're going to tell you stuff whether you it's up to you if you want to do a little bit of research believe it or not and the good news there's also another group that from time to time like yes they voted for george w bush But at the same time, they also voted for Obama. So this is the group of people that actually say, listen, give me a good argument and convince me that that will take us to a better place and it will be better for the country. It will be better for my family. And they go that route. The way news and the media, and and thank God the media today, the traditional media has less power, but they still behave as if they do. You know what I mean? The the, uh, the CNNs and and the... the, 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 uh, listen, even Fox News, how do you, what do you think is going to be one of the main factors that is going to get people? And how can you encourage people, though, to, to literally say, become part of the group of people that once in a while is voting for the benefit of the country and for the benefit of the family? How do we go about this process? Well, for me, I, th- I think it's, it's unfortunate because most people, they'll know more about <laughs> their favorite person on social media than they know about, you know, the, the political candidates, you know. So I feel like we just got to know, like, who 
is who and who represents what. I feel like there should be a, 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 a an app you can go to, right? Because everything is on an app now. There should be an app I can go to where it's like, you know, you have playing cards and you see the person's stats on the back to where it gets updated and you can see each political candidate. It shows you their stats. It shows you their main point. Like, I feel like there just needs to be an easier way for the average person who has an attention span of about two minutes, right? For them to figure out what is it that each person represents. And then maybe they may take more interest because um, as of right now, most people have no clue who, who like, like they were literally, like you said, if I'm a Democrat, I, I click that box. Or if I'm a Republican, I click that box. They're not really going through the process of, you know, watching the debates or seeing who, who, who stands for what. So then they couldn't even make an informed decision if they wanted to, you know, if they don't really just start learning about, you know, what's going on. So. That's the first step. We got to find a way to get people to even learn about who the candidates are and what they represent. So here's the way that I look about it. And you actually coined this phrase, uh, Marvin, for, for a, in a different way, but I'm going to paraphrase what you say. And is the worst thing that can happen to a country is to be going through the best moments of their lives and not know it. Fortunately, it's like we didn't know, like you don't know what you don't know. You don't know what you're voting for, consequences that it's going to have. And right now people are feeling it in their pockets. You know, everybody is, is talking about, man, Christmas went by. We made it through. If we did, barely made it. And then all of a sudden you have to go back to school you have to go back to work it's funny <laughs> the way that they're like if your birthday's in january you know you're singing birthday at the bakery and then they're putting the cake right back you know what i mean <laughs> type of thing so it's <laughs> it's unfortunate that that's happening but that is literally the way that is being it's not being portrayed that way so of course it makes sense when you see the round of news that comes in at the beginning of the year hey guys jobs are very strong we added such and such Hey, you know, we're slowing down because, by the way, for the first time, immigration is something that is being talked about a little bit more than usual. Mm -hmm. So somebody had to do some damage control into the whole process and say, guess what? Yeah. Mexico is cooperating. So the way for me, uh, the way to pay attention is, uh, you know, Alexi talks about it all the time, which is look around you, look around what's happening. Go to the grocery store. A lot of people during the month of December, they they tap their credit cards, they go into HELOCs, they go into a bunch of other things just so that they're able to make it. And mm -hmm. so we just have to be aware of that. And it's like, how can they get away with something that I cannot? That's the one thing that I would ask everybody and I will urge them to pay attention to, regardless of which political affiliation you have, regardless of what they're feeding you in social media, look at your pocket. Uh, look at what is happening in your bank account. Look at what is happening around you and the adjustments that people are making and think, okay, hang on. How come adjustments are being made one way but not the other? Yeah, I mean, this was uh, an unfortunate situation. I think that people, uh, out of fear and misunderstanding and the constant pounding about, you know, how much of a difficult individual uh, Donald Trump was, you know what I mean? And, um, and, and the fact of the matter is, uh, there's a phrase that... that Talking about phrases that Jordan Peterson used to say that people people say that the the devil uh, I don't know is better than the devil I know, you know. And in in this case, you know, what I mean, is 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 the opposite, you know. What I mean, and uh, where well, and, and and by the way, that and literally explains, you know, what I mean, like for a lot of people, uh, you know, it got to a point where you're saying, man, I'm dealing with this man who is my current devil that I'm dealing with. I'm, I'm going to be open to the devil I don't know. And this is one of those cases where that whole thing truly backfired because uh, now is where everybody's having buyer's regret. Now you have a lot of people. And I mean, it, just about every community, too. I don't know. The thing is that the funny thing is, except for, again, some of those media outlets that we can talk about that are out there defending certain positions at a personal, in a personal level, any conversation that I have with any regular individual, I don't know a single person that is defending what we have going on right now with this so where people are going to go and i hope that i hope the people get to the point where they can say i'm no longer here fighting or defending a political party i'm going to go for what really believe now uh to believe that is the best thing to do also requires for the candidates and for the political parties to do a, to to sell that idea to sell their ideas better to be to make a better argument to also use all the tools and resources to be able to get to the point of winning. At the end of the day, it's about winning elections. But we